Timmy forward. Five-year-old black lab Timmy helps Chris Haran navigate the streets of downtown Albany. To the curb. There's one minor problem for Chris. This gray pickup is parked illegally, and Timmy has to find to his curb. way around it Good safely boy. to the curb. And there's times when um, I would have been, you know, looking around and kind of lost, especially in open spaces, if I had, if I didn't have Timmy. Chris got Timmy through a program called Guiding Eyes for the Blind. You're being a very good boy. Yes, you are. And it's the responsibility of volunteer puppy raisers like Barb and Gary to make sure the dogs are socialized while they're puppies. Well, we teach them, you know, sit and stay, uh, down, lay down, uh, over on his side, house manners, no, no people food. Yeah, that's, that's a biggie. Our goal is, as a puppy raisers, to help them uh, prepare for guide dog school. So we're really not doing the guide dog training. The program's not about teaching old dogs new tricks. Carlton, come. The program is about giving a new leash on life, which allows safety and independence. It can be difficult. But Chris says, with Timmy by his side, life has gotten a little easier. Good job. Carlton is the sixth dog for Barb and Gary. And right now, Guiding Eyes is looking for more volunteers. Let's go, Carlton. Training starts at eight weeks old and lasts about a year. It's a full-time commitment with rewards that last a lifetime. I'm so grateful to them for going through all of the house training and the socialization and it, honestly there's things that I don't really know that I could do. I mean I get the dog when he's already you know good and polished and knows what he's doing. Puppy raisers are wanted and if you think you're ready for a dose of puppy love you can head to our website for more information. Reporting from Albany, Kim Langle, Capital News 9.